Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use constraint regions or rules by area inside the Cadence PCB tools. So there might be some examples where you're routing a board um, where you may need to change the, the physical tracking gap spacing rules just purely because of the, the physical gaps you have between your, your, um, your pins, your pinouts. So in this BGA, for example, I've got quite a tight option or quite a tight pinout field. And if I try and just route this track out, you can see I can't physically get the track out on this layer. I could drop, you know, maybe put a via down and go onto an inner layer, but I want to utilize as much space as possible. So I can start to use something called rules by area or constraint regions. This allows me to, to define a different uh, physical thickness or a physical uh, gap, pad to pad, via to bar, etc. Um, in certain areas of the PCB um, to allow me to just, you know, utilize as much space as possible. So the way we would do this is actually we would draw a shape. So we would use the shape command and we can use polygon rectangular or circular so you've got the different options I'm just going to do a rectangular one in this example um, you then pick the class and the class would be something called constraint region and then the subclass would be um, you could have it very layer specific so I've got six layers here so I could pick the layer I specifically want to I could choose all layers I could just choose the outer layers inner signal layers or inner plane layers in this example I'm just going to do the top of the board and I'm going to give it a name of uh, let's call it BGA underscore Steve um, and then I'm just going to draw the area. So obviously I want to make the area inside this BGA area or this BGA device here a uh, slightly smaller track and gap. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to use the, the assembly outline. So I'm just going to do right mouse button, snap pick to segment vertex. Right mouse button, snap pick to segment vertex. And effectively you can see this constraint region uh, drawn there. So I then need to define the rule sets for this. So if we launch constraint manager, set up constraints so we can go in three of the workbooks to look at this there's a, available in the physical workbook so physical work uh, regional layers we've got spacing regional layers and we've got same net spacing regional layers so let's go and do the physical rules first so um, I effectively have a, a BGA region here called Steve so I could either assign a, a completely different rule set to it or I could just put a manual override so I'm just going to put a manual override in this scenario um, so I'm going to put my next track my my min line width of my next track thickness in that area down to point one if I want to I could also choose a different via to use in that area as well and um, you can pick a rule you could also use the right mouse button and create something called region class which would allow me to have um, say I had power tracks going in there or RF tracks in that region area uh, I don't want to use the point one that's probably a bit too fine but I could neck them down to different thicknesses based on the region class areas as well so that's another way to control it so once I've, I've set the rule up here, I can then effectively start to try and route my track again. So we'll pick the same track and you see point one is the default preferred line thickness. As soon as I pick that up, it goes up to point one. So I can then click. As soon as I come outside of the region, the track thickens up. And if I go back into the region, it thins down again. Okay. So that's also uh, going to work for the spacing. So if we go to the spacing rules and we look at the region, there's the BGA Steve. So I could say maybe my line to line. Well, let's set them all at, um, let's do my uh, line to all basically, sorry, line to all point one. So now if I then route this in and what we'll do is we'll just uh, uncheck the clip dangling lines. Uh, I should be able to just push this aside and you can see I can get two tracks coming down, coming out of this BGA region. So um, good advantage to use this kind of functionality when you're routing uh, for areas. Not necessarily always tracking down, sometimes you might want to have a thicker area. Um, in this example, I've got maybe a constraint region set for a, um, a flexi rigid. So let's just turn on the design outline and the cutout. So I might want the tracking gap in here to be slightly bigger inside the, the flexi rigid than smaller.